Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to. You saved Mr. Bell from a hanging. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Exactly. The well, channel, you guys. I know you know that. This girl. Course, I was doing my intro. She just can't. Anyways, <laughs> we're back with some more Red Dead Redemption Two, guys. Last episode. Let me remember what happened. What hell? What happened? I don't even remember. We went to go save Micah. That went to shit. Um, I believe we did our first bounty. We did a couple of things last episode. It went. It went pretty wild. But yeah, you guys. Uh, we did some upgrades last episode. We upgraded the lodging finally. Um. But I think right now what we're going to be doing, let me see. I kind of want to do the Mary mission. I've been saying we were going to do that for a while now. Um, we got Hosea over here. What is this? Hmm. Maybe, should, maybe I should go help Hosea. Or you know what? Let's do, let's do Mary first. I'm sure that the Mary mission will be short, sweet. Also, before I go, I need to make sure I have an outfit for the cold on my horse. I don't know if I have that or not, so let me make sure I at least have a coat or something. I'm not no Driscoll, miss. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> Kieran's talking up a game over there. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, add this. Can I add this coat? Equip. See, I don't know how to save it to my horse. Let me, let me go to my horse. Cause I, you know, it's kind of important that I have horses, horses that I have coats and stuff on my on my horse, just in case, you know. I have the gunslinger outfit, summer gunslinger gunslinger outfit, a custom outfit, and that's it. How do I get rid of these though? I got my Panama hat and my Arthur hat. I have this one, my custom outfit on, gunslinger. All right. Well, how do I? What? You smell. It's cologne. <laughs> I'm sure it it's is. Liquor. It's cologne from Cologne, Germany. <laughs> oh, I, I just had a. All right, there we go. So now we finally have our three outfits stored. So we got another summer outfit. We got this outfit that I've been wearing lately, and then the winter one. All right. All right. So before we head out, I kind of want to play with Lenny real quick. This five finger, that little knife game. Lenny? Hey, Why not? Uh, that knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? <sighs> Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The Outlaws Trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. <laughs> you ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Something nice. Ooh. Ow. All right, so X. Oh, damn it to hell. Okay. All right, you get five attempts. All right. There we go. Square, all right. Oh, we gotta do it twice. All right. Your turn. All right. 
Let's do this again. <laughs> Shit. All right. Um, I think that'll be good for now. I just wanted to at least unlock the game, you know? All right. Good game, good game. What's up, bro? help me out here, mister. Can you? Please. What are you? I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. Um, you're a prisoner, though, sir. You serious? Just shoot the damn chains already. Come on. No. <laughs> shoot the chains off, please. I'm done for otherwise. I ain't helping a prisoner. I don't want to be a bad guy. Bye. Oh, look at this. What do we got here? All right, I got my guns. I think I got the guns I need. I'm good. Speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Uh, impatient, undecided. <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. <laughs> we are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? Purpose, stupidity. <laughs> I'll, I'll reason with these guys I don't know. until, you know, if I could just talk to them and get him, then that'll Safety be fine. Safety and, yeah. and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur. Just come and speak with Mary. Then make up your mind. Oh, my goodness. Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help. Oh, well, the guys were really nice, but <laughs> this kid. Come on, Jamie. going come here bro we just want to talk damn he's running fast or riding fast
Oh no. Sorry, mister. Now that we gotta do this the hard way, what are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! Yeah. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Oh my god. What is he doing? Oh shit. Oh shit. Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. <laughs> That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know... You taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. <laughs> Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. <laughs> Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about Ooh. him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. <laughs> Thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? <laughs> yeah, I love apples. Okay. Apples are good. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. But, all right, go work in an orchard. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father <laughs> told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... What was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. No. Oh. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt, but none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. Here we are. She must be waiting inside.
Whew. Make it quick or I might run off again. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? <laughs> Jamie! Jamie! Come home. Please, you've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. Damn. feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. <laughs> I like that he writes. Hello, mister. Alrighty then. Alright guys, so from here we're gonna go see Hosea in Emerald Ranch. Be not unkind. Help the blind. Help a blind man. Why not? There you go. There you go, bud. You keep hidden all that matters, sir. Maybe even from yourself. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. <laughs> all right, guys, we've made it. Let's hitch our horse. An interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. They all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But it's been a minute since we've seen him. Done efficiently. Partner. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. <laughs> Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. <laughs> We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Uh, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. I'm Don't taking the money. <laughs> Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. Let's do By it. marriage. Oh, 
All right, let's go, Teddy. Really? Really. <laughs> Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. <laughs> you didn't even have to deal with the bear that much. Yeah. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. That must be the place up there. Alright, we're here. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Just in case. <laughs> Here's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, and I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Uh, today. Let's wait. Why am I all sweaty? <laughs> Yeah, I definitely okay. want to get the stuff in the house, so... Let's get on with this, Mr. Uh, Morgan. Yes. <clears throat> Let me head up there and make a fool of myself. <laughs> with <laughs> pleasure. Just don't get caught. Because it's me, they'll shoot first. Gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> okay. Hang back from Jose Wait and sneak. I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. All right, all right. Get him down here. Get lost, <laughs> mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just All right, let's take everything. You sell it from Take the money clip.
There we go. <clears throat> There we go. <laughs> Close the one. for something special. <laughs> Come on, Hosea. Yep. yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Ready? And let's go. Yeah. See you later, boys. matter so what were you able to lift from the house a few bits and pieces nothing too fancy well we need anything we can get right now this was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway <laughs> no doubt <laughs> Don't forget that in a hurry I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <laughs> Park that thing in here. Quickly. All right. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Uh, yeah. Sure. See what we can upgrade, if anything, because we. It looked like we got a lot of money for that, so. We'll see. Oh, my contacts. All right. We're back, guys. Ooh, look at that. You now sell stolen wagons. This is to Seamus at the ro wagon fence in Emerald Ranch. That's awesome. Hi. Hi, little buddy. In addition to buying stolen wagons, Seamus runs a fence, visit a fence to sell valuables, buy illicit goods, or craft talismans and trinkets. Gotcha. Awesome. All right, we got some money for that. Good morning. Let's see, I have 193. Let's contribute some money. And some items, too. Give 
to the poor. Contribute. Let's see. Give money. Give about 50 again. There we go. We got 77. What can we do here? Alright, I'm gonna buy this ammunition and arms upgrade. There we go. So we're low on ammunition. Boom, and then I'll s contribute some more money. Probably like $20 so people can start uh, donating. There you go. Alright guys, so we have Javier Escuela. Or we have another bow another debt here, which I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we can get, again, some more money for the camp. I really wanna upgrade the camp, so we can do that. And then we'll probably do Javier Escuela next. Alright guys, we're here. Now we just gotta search for Lily Millet. Is there a place we can hitch our horse anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Huh. Alright, well. Okay, let's ask around here. You know where Lily Millet is? She's with Cooper over by the store. Gotcha, gotcha. Time to go, boy. You have any idea of the whole I'm in? Oh, come on! Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved me. Lily! Where's our money? What? That loan you took. <laughs> it's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper! Give him what you've got! I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn money! Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, bitch. Oh, not my hat. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Money. Hey, you know what I do to thieves? Law here about this. You got your money. I didn't me steal me. that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it. What do you want? I've got nothing to say to you. Hey. That, bro. Goddamn fool. You 
better keep your goddamn mouth shut about this. No! I've had it with you now. Don't do this! I presume that means yes. For making a fuss, I'll have your money too. Fine! Happy now? Nice doing business with you. What did I do, huh? <laughs> All right, there we go. We got some money now. Teddy! All right, let's head back to the camp. All right, guys, I'm kind of feeling a little bit ambitious. I kind of want to rob this train. I know that's not like a really good act, but I'm kind of curious how this is going to work. Let me see here. I'm just kind of curious what else is on here, you know? Got hair pomade. Got some moonshine. Oh, turn on your tail, man. Oh, relax. I ain't gonna miss. Oh shit. Boom, all right. Man, this is gonna be a big ass bounty, boys. That's all right, though. We're getting some money, though. You won't dare come back. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to pay all this off. <laughs> but we're getting all those goods. All right, I can't carry anything else. Get rid of it! Now! Crush! Ah! Ah! 
my goodness, I need my horsey. Oh shit. Note to self, don't rob a train. Yeah, I don't- it looked like there was more food than anything, than like, actual money. Whew, alright. Where are we? How am I on my bounty? <laughs> yeah, I got a $300 bounty right here, boys. All right, so that's not good. At least it's all the way over here though, not anything over here. So we'll definitely pay that off. We'll save up. Let's head back to the camp. Okay, boy. Come here. Come here. Okay. Lord have hey. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what was that? I don't even. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Alright, I got $120. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna save that for my bounties. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pay off my bounties first. Or actually, if I have any. Wait, what did I do? Oh. I didn't know I had a debt. Alright, so... Uh, so... Let's donate this. Why not? Alright, there we go. 60 bucks. Good shit. Alright guys, it's gonna be the end of this episode. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Make sure to leave a comment letting me know if you are enjoying the playthrough and I'll see y'all in the next video. Whatever else is in store for us, Arthur, I'll tell you one thing. What's that? The rare old pleasure not to be freezing our balls off up in those mountains. <laughs> You're not wrong there. Bye. <laughs> be well.